Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobLoneFoto.com and in today's video I'm going to be looking at how you can add background music to your videos in Adobe's Premiere Pro uh, CC um, in a way that will make sure that you don't overwhelm the audio that maybe is on there already or and um, background ambient audio and also put you in a situation where you can also ramp up the audio so if you're doing things like slideshow so you may remember recently I've just done a video of where you can find copyright free uh, royalty free music over at YouTube so if you just go to www.youtube.com forward slash audio library forward slash music there's loads of free tracks that you can download and use on your videos there's even sound effects too um, and you know I'm not going to tell you how to choose uh, the song for you just go along listen to load if they're in by genre, mood, instrument, how long they are, and um, you can build up a list of favorites. Download um, what feels right for your particular video, um, and then I'm going to show you how to put it into your project with Adobe's Premiere Pro CC. Don't worry if the video is a little bit short, because I'm going to show you how to double it up. And so what we've got here is, this is a video uh, in Premiere Pro that I've done, which is a photo walk I did around Portsmouth Dockyard, um, and it's a combination of sort of me talking to camera, sort of like that. And then there's like little stills, sort of slideshows almost. We've got lots of sort of photographs where there's no sound at all. And we've also got um, sort of um, uh, a location video where I'm not talking or anything. I'm just kind of wandering around. So we've got three different situations where Although the background music will be playing, I want it at different volumes. Obviously where I'm talking, this parts of the video, I want the background music to be very quiet or even silent. Um, on the stills, where it's the slideshow, I want the music to be quite loud. And then where it's on the amp, where it's, we've got this sort of situation where it's just like a walking around video where I'm not talking, I still want to be able to hear the ambient sound of what's going on. But again, I want to hear um, the music that's going on as well. Um, and you can do all this very easily within Adobe's Premiere Pro. So the first thing to do is down in the bottom left-hand corner, obviously you've got your bin with all your bits in it. <laughs> like here, this, this is quite a complicated video, so there's lots of things. So the first thing I'm going to do now is just grab my track, which I've chosen, Waltz of the Flowers by Tchaikovsky. I'm going to put it in the bin in here. So that's going to import that so it's ready to go. Now, you may well have noticed if we come over to the right where I've got my tracks, if you're not that familiar with Premiere Pro, let, basically we've got the line in the middle <laughs> and then above that we've got all the video tracks. So we've got, this is kind of my main video and stills along here that are linear. And then what we've got here is that's an overlay of my name on it. And then this first bit here, that's a uh, title. And then underneath, we've got the audio. So this dark blue here, as you can see, when I've selected that, the video has uh, has both been highlighted because the, that's the audio underneath, A1, that goes with that video. So they're kind of stuck together, which is important. So obviously if you move them around, you want the audio to stay the same. Now this little bit of audio down here on A3, that's my um, my beginning bumper that you hear at the front of most of my videos, you know, this one that noise there so that's there and then if we slide to the end we'll see that's my ending bumper so that you hear again on almost all my videos and so what we've got here we've got a2 audio 2 is all blank and that and it's a good idea to have a blank one you can add another audio track remember you can move your music around up and down so that when we put our music in we're not going to push anything out of the way so without further ado i'm just going to drag my audio track over on to the timeline and I'm just going to start it right at the beginning where I start talking. Now the first thing to, to have a look at is if we go in the effects bin, um, if you look at audio transitions and crossfades, these are the bits that are going to kind of fade in and out the music so you don't get hard stops and finishes. Now as it is at the moment, if I start playing this music, this, uh, if we start playing the video, what you'll hear is a bit of a mess. So, so let me turn the volume up on my laptop so you can hear this through the microphone that I'm recording on. Here we go. Hi, it's me again. 
So, so what we get in here is me talking, and the music is quite loud as well, isn't it? And if you'd sort of noticed up here where the audio track mixers are for audio one and audio two, um, you'd see if I, let me play, you'll see them bouncing around all over the place, but they're quite equal. So, obviously, what we need to do is turn down the audio for the background music at this point, and I could, if I wanted to, turn up. And the way we control the volume is with these sliders. However, any changes we make to these sliders at the moment are going to affect this entire audio track. And as we've already said, you know, when I'm talking to camera, I want the background music to be very quiet. But when the slideshows are on, I want the background music to be louder, you know, because that's what it's there for. So just like you would with the video, what we want to do next is we want to cut up the audio file. And this is the secret to doing this. And all you do, press C on your keyboard or press, you know, the slice button. Um, that one there, the little razor blade. And just go to sort of where the transitions are. And the easiest way I find is just to, to put a load of cuts in to start off with. Oop. So I want to cut there because that's where I stop talking. And then we've got... If I press V to go back, and remember, if you're not quite sure what you're doing, just move the head to there. Right, so I'm talking to camera there, aren't I? So I'm going to get press C to get my cut button up again. So I want to put a cut in there, and I want to cut where I stop talking. And then there's a bit of a slideshow bit all here, isn't there? So I want to, and then, so I want to cut there. And then there's a bit where I'm wandering around the dockyard. So I want to cut there. Then we've got another slideshow bit, so I want to cut there. And press V again so I can move the head so I can see what I'm doing here. So it's another bit to camera there, so I want to be loud. So proceed to get the, 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 that tool up. Put a cut there. And so on through the video. So you put in cuts in wherever there's a change. So I press V to get my sort of select tool up. And now it's really simple. All I do is just move your head to where uh, the section you're going to be working on. Or you can even do it live and just, you know, play it. And now whatever audio adjustments I make up in the top left-hand corner by clipping on the audio clip mixer. Remember, you've got all these bits here. Audio clip mixer is the one we want. Just play it to bring them up. I can adjust the levels of this particular clip that's highlighted right now down here where the head is. Wherever that head is is what I'm going to be um, working on. So even if I'd selected that but my head was up here, I would then be working down here. So all I do now is, or, or I know audio 2 is my background music. So what I do is I'll slide that right down to, I don't know, minus 24 dB. And now what will happen is when I press play, you can only hear me. And in the quiet bit, you could probably hear a little bit of audio, but not much. Now, as we've started to make changes, what we want to do is down here in the bottom left hand corner in the effects bin, we just want to grab a crossfade. And I'm just going to bring a constant power over. I'm just going to dump it on the beginning. I'm going to dump one on the end. And what you'll probably find it's best to do is while we're here, let's just dump crossfades on all of these cuts so that we don't get like a hard jump in volume between these sections. There we go, we're just dragging it off. Bring it across all the way. So that one. And then that one. I haven't really did. I guess there probably there is a different big difference between constant gain, constant power, and exponential, but where I'm just doing very small. You know, I'm not stretching them out, the, the particular crossfade doesn't really make that much difference. So now if we move the head up to where we've got this thing, so this is a photograph now, so I want the music to be higher. And then, and so if we look up the audio mixer, we see, well, there is no audio track on audio one anymore, because you see there's a, there's a space here, and we've just got the music there, so that's good. So now let's go forward again. So in this particular bit of the video, I'm doing a piece to camera. So what I want to do now is, again, I want to drag the background music down. Minus 24 will be virtually quiet. So that's good. And drag it on a bit. And this is a slideshow. So here, again, I want the music to be loud. So what we'll do is if we just go... To, you, I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear this, but if I just press play now, you kind of you hear me talking. Okay, so we uh, better get cracking. Let's see what we can come up with. And what you should have heard there is a little bit of music. Now the music actually is a little bit quiet. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dump, put it up to plus 3 dB. And that will probably sound better. And on this bit I'm going to put it up to plus 3 dB. Remember trying to keep the things the same. That will make it a little bit. So 
If we go back to here, you'll hear me talking, and then we'll go into the slideshow, and you, so you might be able to hear a little bit of background music, and then the background music will get louder. Here we go. Uh, See, now let's just adjust this one. So this one is an ambient part now where I'm just wandering around the dockyard. So the, the, the noise isn't particularly pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take that one down to minus six. And I'll take that one down to minus six. Um, and then let's just, we're just going to listen to it and just see what it sounds like. What it is, there's a lot of wind blowing, which makes the sound sound crap. So I'm going to take the ambient sound down and put the background music up. Happy days. And so now if we go between the slideshow bit, where the music's really loud, and then... We're going to dip into the next bit. So the music's gone down a little bit quieter, and we can hear a little bit of the ambient sound. And it's as easy as that. It's just going along, selecting a section, like um, if we go to here. Again, this is where I'm talking to camera. So I'm talking to camera, so I want the background music that I've imported to be really low, so take it down to minus 24. And, you know, at this point I could boost up my levels as well. And then you just keep going. Now you can do this live. You can sort of play the video and muck around with the sliders on, on the live, on the go if you wanted to. And whichever bit of the video your head, your yellow head is going past, that's the bit that's going to get adjusted. And you just go through, all the way through, adjusting your volume. Um, and remember to put the little um, crossfades in to, to any cuts. And you'll find, you know, it's the ability to add a soundtrack to your video but if there's lots of different sections where you different want different volumes all you do is you chop that audio track up and adjust the volume of each track individually now as you can see here my my background music stops here but my video keeps going so this is all we would do go back to the track stick it in there and that will start again and obviously you would put in a crossfade there to do it and then you know you'd get your cuts all out Press C, go to the end, or maybe there. V to select, tap that, delete, we'll get rid of it. How easy is that? So the secret to all this is chopping up your background music and adjusting the volumes for each one using the audio clip mixer up there. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. Um, my name's Rob from robnonfair.com. If you like the videos, please subscribe and like, and if you want to put some comments down below, I'd love that too. You can email me scalespeed at gmail.com and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon.